I'm literally filming this as a category for hurricane makes its way towards my state. Uh, like it's gonna be here tomorrow. So don't say I never gave you nothing. <laughs> What's up guys, it's V Renee. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'd love to tell you that I'm getting ready for some fun Labor Day weekend activities, but really I'm, I'm, I'm broke from buying a lot of wine and batteries because Hurricane Dorian is on his merry little way to my home. Uh, but that doesn't mean that y'all won't want a video on Wednesday, so I'm filming. <laughs> I talked about my brainstorming process a couple videos ago, or maybe even the last video I posted was my brainstorming process video. Um, and right after I posted that in my recommendations, I got a pop-up for the writing process tag by Bookish Pen Babe. So I'm gonna link her video in the description below and I'm gonna do the writing process tag that she came up with. And if you'd like to do it as well, Feel free to consider yourself tagged. The questions are in her description. Go check out her video. And without further ado, let's get started. First question is, what genre do you write? I write paranormal, contemporary, fantasy, magical realism with some thriller thrown in uh, as well as some horror. So I'm all over the map of the spooky, yuki, creepy crawlies. Number two, what setting gets you most productive? Uh, when the weather is nice, it is it is not nice right now, or I'd go out and show you. Um, I have a beautiful porch and a table out there. I take a candle, a glass of wine, and my laptop or notebook out there, and I write. Um, I love sitting out there. It is where I've gotten a lot of breakthroughs on a lot of different problems I've had with a lot of different projects. It's my favorite place to be. If you have multiple ideas, how do you pick what to work on? Um, I have a monthly writing plan for every month. Um, I actually am in the process of kind of brainstorming my 2020 writing plan. If you guys wanna know how I break down projects, I'm currently working on four different projects, so if you wanna know how I break those things down um, month to month, let me know, and I'll go through my writing plan in a video for you guys. Number four, do you outline? Um, I try to, but I'm more of a this happens and this happens and this happens kind of outliner more than a follow the outliner die. I'm a newly recognized pantser, but plotter is still kind of ingrained in my DNA. Um, so I tend to write what I call a play-by-play -play where I'm like, okay, in this chapter, such and such and such happens. But it, ch it, it, it changes by the minute. So I, I try, but what can you do? The next question is how do you write your first draft? I write it on the computer, um, but I do keep a notebook open beside me so that I don't keep stopping myself to self edit. I'll just write down little notes in the notebook as I go. Next question is how do you get through writer's block? I have a whole video where I talk about writer's block busters. Um, it's a year old, but pretty much everything in it still applies. So I'll link that up here. Next question is do you format your project from the beginning or do you do it later? Um, I had never formatted anything until Accidental Evils. Um, I use DIY book formats, which was recommended by Bethany Atizada. I will link her video on how to use those formatting templates in the description below. Um, I don't format from the beginning. I tried to do it with Blood From A Stone once I learned how to format, but in Google Docs, some of those formatting things don't transfer because they're Microsoft Word templates. So it was starting to mess me up a little bit. So I just tend to write in the Google Doc and then transfer it to Microsoft Word and then format it from there once I've gotten a really steady, strong draft. Do you edit as you go or wait till after the first draft? I usually wait till after the first draft. I tried to self-edit as I wrote Blood From A Stone and now as we know, it has completely screwed up my revising process and has paralyzed me. So I don't recommend editing as you go. How long do you wait between rounds? Four weeks at least. I try to wait longer. I usually can't wait that long because I get excited. Um, like the sequel to Accidental Evils, Something Wicked. I have not worked on that in months because of the edits I was doing on Accidental Evils. Um, so that, I, that's been four or five months since I've opened that and that's just because of the situation. So when I come back to it, besides the fact that Accidental Evils had a bunch of rewrites that are gonna have to be applied to something wicked, it's gonna be a whole beast that I have no idea about because I haven't looked at it in so long. What do you do to get through writing sessions? I chew gum, drink wine, listen to podcasts. Um, yeah, snack if I don't have gum, which is why I always try to keep gum around because I don't need to eat a whole box of goldfish in one sitting. <laughs> Next question is, do you schedule writing sessions? I try to ensure that I write Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday after work um, for a couple hours, and then most of the days on Saturday. Do you have word count, page count, or chapter goals for each of your writing sessions? Sometimes, just depends on where I am in the project. Uh, anything quirky you do to make your projects more fun? I throw in tons of Easter eggs for my readers and for myself. 
do you work on multiple projects at once? Yes, right now I am working on multiple projects at once. Um, they're all in different stages. How often do you research whenever the need arises for however long I need to? How do you organize your projects? I have different folders in my Google Drive and then I have subfolders depending on if it's a series um, or if there's different aspects of that particular book that I need to categorize. Do you reward or punish yourself for failing or achieving your writing goals? Rewards, yes. I used to do a monthly self-care reward for hitting my certain writing goal. Um, I had a Disney pass at the beginning of the year and so once a month if I hit X amount of words or X goal with the draft, I'd go to Disney um, or I'd go get my nails done. Right now, since I have 5011 damn Halloween movies to watch to get through my Halloween movie marathon, I just am like, okay, if you write what you can today, then you can watch a movie. <laughs> Are there works similar to your projects that you look to for inspiration? Yeah, I did a whole video on it. Um, it's up here. How early do you look into editors? Um, with my first book, my editor was part of my publishing house, so I didn't look for one because she was provided for me. For Accidental Evils, I started looking for an editor um, right after I got the first round of beta notes back. So I did about four drafts, then sent my book to beta readers, and then once I got their feedback and started to apply it, so I would guess the fifth draft is when I started to really um, search for an editor and um, start sending out the manuscript. And the final question is, how do you feel after finishing your first draft? So I have a lot of different experiences with this because I've written a lot of first drafts. Not a lot, and a lot for me. Civil Blood, I've been working on that idea since I was 13, so I wrote a million first drafts of that. Accidental Evils was a relief because that took me four months to write the first draft and I felt like that took that was so long um, compared to Civil Blood, which it really wasn't. If you think about it, Civil Blood was technically like six or seven years to write the first draft. Something Wicked um, was my nano project last year and so writing the first draft again just felt like a huge victory because it meant I won NaNoWriMo as well. And Blood From A Stone was a rush to get done with the first draft before I went on vacation so while it was a relief it was also like I felt disappointed in myself that I didn't take enough time to just really like get a good first draft out. I know that sounds contradictory but there are literally parts of the first draft of Blood From A Stone where I wrote and then they ended up at the pool. And then such and such did this. Like I just I just told myself what happened rather than writing it out because I was in such a rush to get that first draft done. Which has been a blast in the revision process, I'll tell you that. And that was the writing process tag by Bookish Pen Babe. Again, it's gonna be linked in the description below if you'd like to play. All the questions are in her description in her video, so make sure you give her some love. Go check out Bethany's formatting video. Go check out the writer blockbusters as well as my WIP inspiration videos that I linked up there. I got lots of links, lots of fun stuff for y'all to check out today. And I wanted to make a huge announcement that I am so excited for. On Monday, September 9th, 2019, I'm gonna be sending out proofs of my second novel, Accidental Evils, to proofreaders. Um, you will get to have a proof copy of Accidental Evils way, way, way before anyone else is ever going to see it in exchange for just reading through it, letting me know if there's any issues in the print copy um, that I can fix, any typos, any weird continuity things. I am asking that anyone who wants to proofread Accidental Evils has already read the first book in the series, Civil Blood. If you haven't, it's $2.99 on Kindle. Go get it. Go read it. it probably will take you a couple days. I need to know if you want to proofread Accidental Evils by midnight Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, September 8th, 2019. So it's the 4th, you have until the 8th to read Civil Blood and then hit me up anywhere, tweet me, DM me, comment on this video, whatever, email me, vreneewrites at gmail.com. Let me know if you want to proofread Accidental Evils for me. You will get to have a free proof copy of the book. I will send it to you at your address and you will have until the end of November of this year to read it and get notes back to me. So if you'd be interested in helping me out and proofreading my book in exchange for a free proof copy, again, way before anybody else is gonna get to read this story, uh, please let me know. In the meantime, I make new videos every single Wednesday and I'll see you guys next Wednesday with something fun and funky and fresh. Bye. <laughs>